what is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I got some exciting news in the world of jailbreaking. Do take this information with a grain of salt. We might not ever see this implemented into anything, but it is always exciting to see people working on new ideas or trying to create different styles of jailbreaking on iOS 14, so super cool. And uh, before we jump into this, I also wanna mention do not update your device. If you're on 14.4, stay there. 14.4.1, stay there. Do not update to 14.5. Like I said, in all of these videos, the best practice is to stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. So do not update, especially, you know, uh, going along with what I'm gonna show you guys, just stay as low as possible. But let's go ahead and hop into Twitter here. So um, our opponent is working on a WebKit slash Safari based jailbreak, which I think is super cool. Now our opponent has been around for a while. He's part of the Manticore uh, jailbreak team. Uh, if you guys remember in my previous jailbreak update video, Project Manticore, uh, they're working on an iOS 14.0 up to 14.3 jailbreak. And then also our opponent is working on some crazy WebKit stuff uh, based in Safari style kind of jailbreak. So I'll leave the links down in the description if you guys want to check this out yourself. But I think it is super exciting. The last time, oh, well, it's been a while since we've seen a jailbreak like this. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember jailbreak me. Now, uh, if you guys have no clue what this is, it's a very old jailbreak and it's probably the fastest jailbreak there ever was. So basically what you would do is just go to the jailbreak me website and click jailbreak and that was it. It would jailbreak your iPhone, you would get Cydia and you're done. There's no application, there's no plugging it into a computer. You literally just go to a website in Safari, click jailbreak and you're jailbroken. It was pretty damn amazing and I think this is way back on like iOS iOS 3, iOS 4-ish, somewhere around there. Uh, very old jailbreak, but it was seriously cool. And I think that's what our ponage is kind of trying to achieve is a website-based jailbreak, which would be really freaking cool. Now, like I said, whether we'll ever see this, you know, come to life or actually be implemented into a jailbreak, you know, nobody knows. Uh, but it's still, you know, exciting to see that people are working on this kind of stuff. So as you can see here, Keep an eye on this. It's my approach at achieving a WebKit slash Safari based jailbreak for iOS 14. It's a highly work in progress and does not jailbreak your phone in its current state. Okay, so it does not jailbreak your iPhone right now, but we can get more information about this and it's pretty cool if we jump into GitHub here. Uh, so here is Luca's GitHub, uh, our ponage, as you guys can see there. Uh, we can actually go down to the rep uh, repositories here and there it is. So I, I'm, I believe the name of it would be Pwned My, which is pretty cool sounding. Um, if we go in here, as you can see, this is an iOS 14.5 WebKit Safari based jailbreak. It is not a current jailbreak, so it cannot jailbreak your device yet. But like I said, or like he says, it's a work in progress. So uh, hopefully, you know, we could see this come to light sometime in the future. Now there's more information about Pwned My right here, iOS 14.5. Uh, WebKit slash Safari based jailbreak made by our ponage and the Manticore team. Manticore web soon, highly work in progress. And as you can see, here's more information. So current exploit is only for iOS 14.5 plus as it exploits a vulnerability in audio uh, worklet plus. Also, as there is no kernel exploit for 14.4 plus yet, this won't work for a fair while on those versions. Unless our ponage burns a kernel exploit or adds a Safari WebKit exploit for 14.4.2 and lower, which will make it work on 14.3 and lower, which currently have Secuta Verosa. Okay, so there is some good information about uh, this jailbreak or what could be of a jailbreak. Um, and like I said, guys, take this to a grain of salt. This is just for information. And I always like, you know, finding out about stuff like this that's actively being, being worked on because uh, there is a lot of cool things you can do in terms of jailbreaking. We've just kind of had the same style jailbreak for a few years now, but it is totally possible to do, you know, some crazy jailbreak stuff. It, it's always possible. Um, but what's cool here is if you guys are a developer or you understand, you know, iOS security, you can actually view all of the code 
uh, for this here, of course, because it is on GitHub. Uh, but if we go to browse code, we can go to source, we can go to JavaScript, and you can see there is the exploit JavaScript. So if you guys are into this kind of stuff, you can view you know, exactly what it's doing or how it could potentially achieve a jailbreak on an iPhone uh, using the exploit that it is using. But like I said, this will not work until there is a kernel exploit. Um, this is just a WebKit exploit, but still very, very cool. And uh, I always like to find out, like I said, about this stuff. I think it always brings light to the jailbreak scene. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this information. I'll leave all the links you guys will need in the description. Uh, this has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.